Hey, good morning, church. I pray all is well with you this Friday morning as we get ready for uh, the weekend. Uh, hey, we're going to be looking at Psalms chapter 20 uh, as we continue our study through the book of Psalms. Now, something I want you to know before you start reading this chapter. Uh, one, it's, it's short, and so it's only nine verses. But uh, you also need to know that this was a prayer uh, petitioned uh, or a psalms, if you will, petitioned before the battle. And so uh, it's key kind of to have that in your mind as you read it because there's just some things I want you to, to notice if, if you're saying this prayer before a battle. Because we're all going to have battles inside our life. And there's some things that uh, you should do before you even go into battle. And, and some of it is outlined here. Uh, so uh, let's look at this. Uh, look in verse number 2. Uh, Actually, let's read verses 1 and 2. May the Lord answer you in your day of trouble. So before the battle even begins, you're saying, may the Lord answer you. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. You're already asking for a defender before the battle even starts. May he send you help from the sanctuary uh, and strengthen you out of Zion. Now look at verse number 3. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt offering. Folks, they were already making offerings and burnt offerings before they even went into battle. That says to me that before we face our battles in life, that we already better be having a walk with the Lord. We ought to be already be in prayer, and we already better be in, in Bible study. We, we better already have the armor of God put on before we go into battle. There's too many times people face a battle, and they'll say, uh, they'll go to the Lord and say, Oh, Lord, remember me. I know I haven't prayed for a long time, but now I really have an issue. Folks, it shouldn't be that way. We should be having our, our prayers and our, our, our offerings and our sacrifices well before we go into battle. Uh, the second thing you'll notice inside this, before they go into battle, they've already realized where their strength is coming from. Uh, verse number four, may he grant you according to uh, your heart's desires uh, and fulfill all your purposes. We will rejoice in your salvation. And that they so before the battle's even started, they're saying, hey, it's going to come from the Lord. Uh, and that continues on in verse number five, we will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. Uh, they've already they've already said, hey, it's, this battle is going to be with God. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. And so before the battle begins, they've already realized where their strength comes from. Uh, and then in ver- look at verse number seven. Now, remember, this is before the battle begins. Verse number seven, some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Before the battle even begins, they've already started kind of singing this song of praise, but we're going to remember the name of the Lord. Uh, And so they're already uh, praising the Lord before the battle begins. And then look at verse number eight. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Before the battle even began, they've already declared victory over the battle. And so, hey, as we face battles inside our lives, just remember that that we got to know where the strength comes from, comes from God. We need to be making our sacrifices long before the battle ever even starts. We need to be in praise and worship before the battle begins. And let's go ahead and declare the victory of God even before the battle starts. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy uh, uh, Psalms chapter 20. May God bless. Look forward to seeing you Sunday morning as we gather together as a church to worship our, our Heavenly Father. Uh, God bless and have a great day.